okay let's write more sequels I am using this database again and inside this database I have these different schemas and I'm using this SF10 TCL which is right here inside that I have tables and we can see all these tables here I can easily drag and you know change the layout right I can do that let me quickly show that also click on objects this side pane will go away if I click again this will come back or I can adjust like this with this slider similarly I can adjust these my results also like if I select on any of this I will have more information about that here for now we will just focus on data and queries so I will slide it off so we already wrote this simple select star queries right select star will give you everything I just limited with let's say 100 rows then it will give me only 100 rows this is one row this is second row this is third row like that I will can get 100 rows just to see how my data looks we also wrote account star query so let's look at that again and then we will build upon it so I ran it and I see I have 65 million records in this customer table in this database let's introduce something called where clause let's go back and check our data first if you slide it on the right side and if you just keep looking at data let's say we are only interested in those customers whose birth country is India so let's write this query you will say where this column which is this one you can by the way just copy paste from here or you can just write it down equal to India so if I run this query now look at that out of 65 million rows it quickly scanned all that data and it gave me the customers with birth country as India now let's check the results you go here and you go here and if you see all these C birth country is India now let's do a little more with this query let's say I only want those customers where my preferred customer flag is yes or why so you will say where C birth country is India and C underscore and if you start writing it will give you the option to use that column name so it's easy to quickly write those queries this way so if I say where C plus equal to yes then I won't see n or null values so let's run this query let's scan my data towards the right all my customer flags are yes now and also my country is India so that is how you use where clause this is called where clause very important concept because most of the times you're not looking all your data you are selectively looking at your data now similar to and condition let's also check how the results will look if I use or instead of and and it's a very good practice whenever you have all conditions together to use brackets but let's see if I change my query from this and to or how my results will look like if you think about it what it is doing behind the scenes is it is checking for all that data which is either as a birth country in India or preferred country as yes so it's not both conditions needs to be true now only one of them is true it's going to return that data if you see all my customer flags looks like Y here but if I go and see my birth country may not be India here but in some cases it will be India here is one example where the birth country is India but you know it could be either or or like it sometimes is India but the C preferred flag may not be yes so in this case Saudi Arabia is not India even though say India but preferred customer flag is yes so that's why it returned that data so here is a that's the concept of or one of this condition has to be true 
but in some cases both can be true like in this example this row 687 i have customer preferred flag as y and my birth country is india so both are true and it has returned the data but in other cases even if one of the condition is true it will return that data let's do a little more fun stuff with this queries i'm copy pasting this i don't want to see all my column names i only want to see certain fields i want to see the customer address customer first name and i only want to see customer last name and we leave this where clause as is meaning i'm getting only these three fields for this data so this where clause is filtering based on the rows and these columns will only display data for these three fields so let's run this query this is also an important concept here that snowflake is a columnar database and if you select only the columns which you need your queries will be relatively faster and it's a big big thing in sql like sometimes your query will not even return data because the data is so much or your database is not tuned up very well and your queries will run forever the snowflake is really fast the way it sorts data behind the scenes and if you just run your queries it will return your data very quickly and you can see that we are running this data on 65 million records which is a pretty big yeah look at that 65 million records it's not that small it's not like really big but it's still not that small either now let's write few more queries let's do some more group functions and i'll talk more about group functions like count star is a group functions because we are checking the whole group right we check the whole group like count i'm counting everything in that table so as a group as a group of rows in this case the group is all rows but we will cover more about group by because group by is also an important concept but let's keep building our knowledge on this group function at the whole table level but for that let me first look at my data and see what can we group by on let me look at some other table and what i really want to see is i want to see some dollar value let's say which says the price or the amount of order so that we can sum it we can sum the total amount so that will make more sense so let's try to see it Okay, let's look at this table orders table under this schema place in editor and I can remove that because I already chose that as my default database I can leave that also it will be better if we do limit 10 because that will give us the results faster versus now it's querying the whole table limit 10 will just randomly select 10 rows and give us data because here we really just want to quickly check how our data looks so here it says total price right there is this is total price now this price of uh, let's imagine this price is in uh, dollar values so this is like something eighty thousand dollar maybe this is a machine data like some machines are very expensive so let's just run a group query on the whole table we are not selecting group of rows we are saying everything in this table can you tell me what is the total sum of this total price so let's run this query it's pretty simple you just say sum and then you start writing your field name and you can select it from here now let's run this query So this is a lot of money whatever this table is all the total sum of the price in this table is this much this is pretty big probably it's not dollars so anyway you got some of this you know next level queries how to write these 
SQL queries, when you have to count number of rows, you have when you have to sum something like total price or the amount, or you want to select only few fields out of the table because the Collimer database, you know, will return your query faster. How do you write where clause? So you have that. Now in my next video, I will be covering more about the group by function and also joins, which are very, very important concepts in SQL. All right, see you in my next video. Thanks, bye now.